MMA. I'm Mark Gelston. This is my friend Justin Hall. And today I wanted to talk about some uh, versions of Kesegatami, the scarf hold, uh, both how to apply it and how to escape from it. All right. So uh, there are sort of three classic versions of Kesegatami. There are really more than that, but let's look at the, the three basic versions. So. Uh, when I'm doing case of Gatani, usually it's happened. Usually I've just thrown him and I have control of this arm. But what I want to do is lock his wrist in my armpit so his hand is sticking out and I'm not tightening, I'm not locking my arm down with any strength. I'm just resting my arm here. I'm keeping very relaxed because if I, if I try and, and force it down, he should be able to pull his hand out. But if I am relaxed, then he's gonna have a lot of trouble pulling his hand out. My other arm comes around his head. I wanna make sure that his head cannot hit the ground, okay? If he can bring his head behind my hand on the ground, he can trap my arm, and that's really bad for me. So my arm stays up, and I keep his head off the ground. With my left arm here, I'm gonna come up under his elbow. I want his elbow bent uh, ideally 90 degrees, but anytime I'm lifting up under his elbow, that's putting pressure on his shoulder. My hands, I like a cable grip here or an S grip. Uh, if you can't reach that, then just grab the gi. In judo, this leg comes back. Notice that my toes are digging into the mat. I don't want to have relaxed toes here. I want the toes to be able to give me some pressure. My head goes down by his head, and I want absolutely no space between his hips and my butt. So here I am. This is a judo version, just a very, very strong hold, very hard for him to get out of. Uh, if he starts chasing my leg to catch me, I will go with him. If he starts moving away from me, I will go with him. I don't want to let him create any space between us. So that's the classic case of Gatami, or Hong case of Gatami, as it's called in Japanese. Now, there are two common versions up here. One is Makura, which means pillow case of Gatami, and in this one, I grab my leg. This is also very effective nogi. I don't have to grab the material. I can just hook here. Everything else is the same, but I'm a little bit further over his body in this one. So I have to be careful to make sure that I'm leaning towards my leg. That's important, otherwise it's actually fairly easy to roll me out. And the other common version in judo is kuzuri. Case of the Tommy, and in this situation, I have my arm <clears throat> instead of around his neck, I'm under his arm. Now, when you do Kazuri Case of the Tommy, it's extremely important that I don't let him clamp his arm and trap, trap me here. Here, again, he has a lot of opportunities to escape, and my arm is useless. So, when I put my arm in for the underhook, I want to bring my hand high, all right? Now, if he tries to come down, I'm locking his shoulder out of place. And I like getting all the way across here, so his arm is virtually useless. Now, he can push against my head here, but if my head is low, that's not gonna do him any good. And if I'm going for some kind of submission, here, and my hand is high now when he pushes against my head, I can convert into a, uh, an arm lock here, uh, Udigarami. All right, so those are our three basic versions of Kesegatami. So let's look at the escapes. Each one has its own escape strategies and they change. So make sure you close contact. Yeah. All 
All right, uh, foot down for judo. Okay, all right, so the most important thing for me to try and do is create the space, and he, of course, is going to try and stop me from creating that space. As you saw, trying to reach for the foot. What happens if I actually catch the foot? If I actually catch it, I'm going to lock my legs around. Now I'm going to straighten my back. I'm using my stomach coming forward. My head arches. All right. And now you can see how off balance he's gotten. And then I can just roll him backwards. Once I've done that, untangle. And I'm going to go into Munigatami here. The chest hold. There are also submissions. If I catch his leg, I can bring my arm forward. And this is a shoulder lock, so we can't do that in judo. But if I put the pressure on the upper part of his arm, now it's a straight arm bar, and that we can do in judo. Okay, so when I try and reach his leg, he moves forward, so I can't get it. So I want to go the other way. As he moves forward, I move back. From this position, when he is all the way out to the side, I can just sit up. I'm going to use a little bit of push with my left arm. He has no stability in the rear, and I can just sit out of the hold. And of course here, I'm in Kuzuri Kesagatami. I have to worry about this arm, so come underneath. As I come up, I wrap around. But he's going to be savvy, so I roll towards him. When I switch going back, he comes back with me, and now I can try going back and forth, but maybe it's not going to work. In this case, I'm going to, my arm is low. What, what I've achieved from going back and forth is my wrist is now free. It's no longer locked under his armpit. That's really the goal all along. Once my wrist is free, I can lock my hands around his waist. And from here, I have a number of attacks. What I like to do first is I want to do a big bridge over my right shoulder, over the shoulder that he is holding. So I'm down by his waist, my feet come up to my rear, and oh, sometimes that is enough to get out. Notice that my head, once again, is controlling his shoulder. So I've come here, I've come here. Now I grab around the waist. My feet go to my butt and I try and take him over the shoulder. This loosens up the head. Okay. So now, and it's created space. So now I want to bring my head back and lift him up onto my hips. And here I'm going to just take him over my far shoulder. And we get to what people consider the classic escape from Case of Katami. So I could just start right from the beginning there, lock with the head, come up over the shoulder and escape. Sometimes that'll work, but you get a big, strong guy who's got really good balance. He's going to be fighting you all the way. So I want to try and loosen things up before I begin that uh, escape process. One, two, three, four. 
So com by combining the four escapes, it's extremely high percentage. Okay. In Makura case of Atami, Okay, now my head is really compromised. If I try that other series of escapes, very, very difficult because I can't get my head back to the mat. So in this particular case, ironically, I want to go more towards this leg, straight to the side, straight down. It's actually an easier hold to get out of if I'm aware of that. I still want him to help me out. Always with judo, you want to let the other person do most of the work for you. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to push him towards the place where I know I can't escape. My hand comes right up to his back and I push. Right? He's going to resist this because if he doesn't, I'm eventually going to slip this arm out. So he pushes back. Once he pushes back, I roll him right to my leg. So again, this isn't working. This is working. Push back to the leg. Okay, Kuzuri Kesegatomi. If I can get this arm free, if I can move forward, okay, if he has not compromised this arm, my hand comes up under his neck. I grab the far collar. I'm not going to really choke him here, but I am totally compromising his head. I'm pulling heavy elbow down, leg over and come right up into the hold. You can also, once you've got the leg over, you can finish with the choke. So again, start with your head down, right? He's doing something here. I'm gonna push forward, flatten my elbows down to my hips, come forward, push, leg over, and if I'm, my foot is under his chin, then I can finish the choke. Or I can go into my own Kazuri Kesa. All right, he's really got my arm this time. I'm, when I'm moving up, he's moving up with me. Not working. But again, that did help with this wrist. Grab anything. Grabbing his gi. Now a big bridge. Pull up. And from here, I'm going to quickly turn under. If I can get my leg over, I can take his back or put him in an arm bar or a shoulder lock. BJJ. So once again, first I'm trying to bring my elbows in and move up. Not working, but that means that this arm is now available to me. Grab. Heels to my butt. Push him up. That creates lots of space. Arm across. Roll under and something will come your way. Those are some escape strategies from the three basic versions of Kesa Gatami. Uh, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Serioku Zenyo, that means maximum efficiency. Click like if you like the video. Push the little bell so you get videos every time I post them. Thank you, Justin. <laughs>